everyone I'm Becky Goldsmith from piece of cake and I want to show you how to do a set in circle um, this block is from bullseye quilts from vintage to modern and it's actually a block this size one of the um, 20 inch finished and it just almost doesn't fit on my table here so I've got the block made and it's round and what I want to do is set the corners on it. Now I have already set this ring around this ring. Let me just say that setting in circles is always the same. You identify north, south, east, and west, and the diagonal centers in between of whatever two circle pieces you're putting together. Place whatever's in the middle, underneath, but right side up. Place the next ring or inner curve over it, also right side up, with the hole in the middle. Then what you do, now for this especially, when you're getting ready to set the round block into the corners, make sure you're pointing whatever's in the center the way you want it because if I set this in just a little bit over then this seam would be up and I didn't like that I liked it better when the center uh, I'm sorry the the middle of one of these wedges went north south east and west okay so that said pay attention to that then you follow it's really easy you can follow out from the center Okay, there's a side, and if it's easier to see, mark that with a pin, right? And from here, that's going to be north. This is going to be south. And that's going to be east. So I'm marking those. The seams here mark north, south, east, and west on my um, corners. I've already folded these in the middle, finger pressed them, and marked my diagonal centers here. And here you can even count to the center. So boom, boom, boom. That's going to be a diagonal. So I can mark that. And you can do that all the way around. And then, okay, let's just do this. Two, three, just like that. All right, then what you do to bring these together, just pick a spot. I'm going to do it down here because it's closest to me. I am going to fold this in. Now, I know that, let me pull this in. I know that this is my southern point, and I want this seam right there. I'm going to mark it with a positioning pin. And I'm going to mark it with the positioning pin there. Line it up. Make sure that right there at that point, these two edges are flush. And I'm going to pin it. Just like that. I'm pinning in an awkward direction because of the camera. Then I would either, maybe this is how I do it because this is such a big block, I would do the same thing here. I'm going to fold this in, placing the fabric right sides together. I'm going to use my positioning pin to match the seam and the point. I'm going to make sure those edges are straight and I'll pin that. Now every time you bring the outside in, you can look at whatever it is and make sure it points toward the center. So I would go around and do north, south, east, and west, and at the same time I would get my diagonal centers. And I think this is where that pin was, and I would mark that here, and I would point this point toward the center. That helps line the fabric up, and I would pin. Next, once you get all of those pinned, 
you'll have the fabric pulled into the center like this. All right, pretend like that's all pinned. Next, you go in and gently, gently match these edges, the concave curve with the convex curve, and put as many pins as you want to in here to hold it. Now, remember that the shape on top is going to spread open a little bit. The shape on bottom is going to stay flat, so I don't recommend picking up these once you get past the very center. It's very diffi difficult to pin well if you pick this up in your hand. You do better if you pin flat. Remember that the part of these two fabrics that need to meet Yes, you want to match up the outside, but it's a quarter of an inch in. That's where the seam is. That's where you want the fabrics to not pleat over themselves to fit perfectly. So any gathering that happens inside of that quarter inch seam allowance, well, that's fine. It really has to do that because once you sew it, it presses open. Um, so you, you wouldn't want it to be too tight. I think that makes sense. Once you get it pinned all the way around, take it to your sewing machine and sew with this flat against the bed of your machine. And remember that you're sewing a curve. You can't pull this edge straight in front of the needle. You're going to want to slowly feed it under the needle using your uh, quarter inch foot to keep a perfect seam allowance there. The hardest circle to set in is the center one. And the only reason it's hard is because it's small. And in all other cases, you take the paper out of your, out of your rings before you set them together because the paper gets in the way. You can't, you, it just, uh, trust me on this, you take the paper out. But, for the center, it works better if you leave the paper in. Now, I have marked the, the shapes I want to fit here, um, you know, the north, south, east, and west, because it's just easier. And I marked it on the inside edges of the ring as well. All right, so here I want to make sure that my pins are in the same place. Yes, they are. What I'm going to do is work in the same fashion but tinier. So I would fold this over. Now I know where that pin is. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put a positioning pin in here. And I'm going to put a positioning pin in here. I'm going to make sure See, I kind of guesstimated wrong. I want to make sure I get these lined up. There. And I'm going to put a pin right there. Now, the next one I'm going to pin will be here. I'm going to take this pin out. I'm going to use this pin. And you can look to the front, make sure you've got the point. I didn't do that on the first one, but I did on the second one. I'm going to swing this around, and then I'm going to pin close to that point. Not right on the point, but very, very close to it. I would go all the way around, and then I'm going to go back, and I want to make sure that this point I've got some stuck paper there. Take that paper out. That this point matches up with that seam. See here, this is one you, you have to have up in your hands to pin well. And I might go all the way around and do that, or I might come in here. and See how I'm going to get my hands in and make this lay flatter? You have to futz with it a little bit more. You want to 
pull these out, keep them round. So I might use not just a pin here, but even a pin in between. So even though this is a smaller circle, it takes almost as long to pin as the next rings. It's not hard, it's slow. All right, take your time with it. Pay attention to detail. Rearrange the bulk in the center as often as you need to. And just pin your way around. Once you've pinned all the way around, you're going to have this crown of fabric in the center with the exposed edges there ready to sew. And it's the same thing. You put it in your sewing machine, use the edge of your quarter inch foot as a guide, sew slowly, remove the pins as you go, take your time, feed that curve into place until you've sewn all the way around. Then you can, and I have one that I've, I've already sewn, then you remove the paper from not just the seam allowance but inside and press and when you press you'll be pressing those um, all the seam allowances toward the center in all likelihood. You could press them the other way but boy that's a lot of bulk um, where all those seams would overlap. So that is how you do it. When you open it up if you think to yourself man I got myself a little pleat I want to go back and fix it well use your seam ripper and rip it out and go back and fix it. But amazingly enough, you don't have to fix it very often, very, very rarely, if you take your time so slowly and carefully. So that is how you do set in circles, whether it's setting in the center circle or setting in each consecutive ring or putting the corners on the block. It works like a charm. Once you get this sorted out, once you get comfortable with sewing circles together, it opens up a world of possibilities. So I hope you enjoyed this um, little tip on how to do set in circles. I hope you enjoy making your bullseye quilts. Thank you for watching and have many happy stitches.